Hi, in this video, we will talk about customized exception in Java. So what do you mean by customized exception? We will talk about all these things in this video. But previously, one of our previous videos, we discussed about default exception handling. So if you do not have any handling code for your exceptional code, that time JVM will take care of the exception and it will delegate the uh, task to default exception handler and that will print the information to the user. But I want to handle my exception. I want to print or I want to handle that exception in my own way. So for that, we'll use customized exception in Java. So we'll handle the exceptions using customized exceptions in Java. To achieve this, we'll use try catch blocks. So try and catch both are predefined keywords in Java to handle exceptions, okay? So the try catch block in Java is used to handle exceptions and prevents the abnormal termination of the program. So if you get an exception, you'll get abnormal termination. To avoid that abnormal termination, we will use try catch block and we'll handle that exceptions. Okay, with the help of one example, we'll see, but how the try catch block looks like. So you see that try and you have this, how you write the curly braces for the method and the same with this is try block. In the similar way we have seen static block in one of our previous videos, the same way, try block and catch. In this, it will accept exception class object. So in the try, you will write risky code or exceptional code. So wherever you feel that this is exceptional code in this line or in this code, you will get some exception. So that kind of code you will put inside the try block. Okay, in the catch block, handling code or recovery code. So exception handling is recovery your uh, the exceptions right in your uh, smooth execution, right? If you want to go for smooth execution, you need to handle those exceptions. So in the catch, you will have handling code or recovery code. If something happens in the inside the try, so directly it will jump into the catch and it will execute this alternate recovery code. Okay. So with the help of try catch block, we'll do all these things. And this is the syntax, okay? With the help of one example, we'll see. So let me go to Visual Studio Code. So here I created one of the classes called customized exception example. So I have written one main method. So inside this, let me write some system.out.println statements. So first statement, And let me take two more, okay? So here in the second statement, what I'll do, I'll give some code like five by zero. And this is sec second statement or third statement, whatever it is, okay? I have three statements, but here I have risky code, right? Here you will get arithmetic exception, right, that we know. So I'm not handling this. So let me execute and see how the default exception handler will execute and what it will give us. You see that? So exception in thread main, java.lang.arithmetic exception by slash means divided by zero, right, in this line. So, but I don't want to do like something like this. I want smooth execution. I don't want to see these kind of errors or no what exceptions. So that then, so this is the risky code, right? So I'll put this risky code inside the try block. So let me put in the try. So then you should have a catch block, right? So in the catch block, you need to mention what exception, arithmetic exception. And that object, so inside this, whatever you want, you can do, okay? System.out.println. So if five by zero is an exceptional code, you can give some alternate code, you execute this, something like this, okay? Otherwise, you can give some meaningful name, uh, 
information to the user right so found arithmetic exception please take care of this okay just an example so now <clears throat> let me comment this so now you will see now you try to execute the same thing you see that here after the first statement you got exception so it ignored the rest of the program but here is a first statement so you found some risky code here so it jumped into this catch block so because of that 10 by 2 i got 5 so it is smooth execution we already caught that exception so it came out of that catch and it executed this statement also after this risky code right so that's how you can manage your exceptions so let me execute once again you see that first statement found the arithmetic exception please take care of this and then third statement all right so whenever you see some risky code or exceptional code that you should put in try block and something goes wrong here it will jump into the respective catch block so it will execute whatever you mention inside this catch block right that's how you will handle and you will get the smooth execution so in the first statement without try catch it terminated the program it executed only this third line so after that it did not executed but now it the, with the help of try catch so i'm able to print this 11th line also because i handled that if something goes wrong you execute this alternate code so according to the, your risky code you need to put your alternate code but here just an example okay so that's how you will handle your exception that is called customized exception so default exception handler is not handling your exceptions you are handling so because of that this is customized exception okay so what could be the possible interview questions from here so what is customized exceptions what is try block and what what it contains so try block is a block where it will contain risky code so what is called catch block and what it contains so catch is a block and it will ha have that handle code or recovery code okay so that's all in this video thank you